See, I snuck up on you. It was all quiet. But now it's only medium quiet. Hold on, let me select this and turn up the, the what, the gain? It's even louder now. Oh, oh, oh! You know what, it's so loud. You can't stop it now because you know it's gonna be a great night because what night is it, Justin Robert Young? A great night! Uh, it's Tuesday night. That, that We literally, in the pre-show, we're having a whole discussion God about it. God damn it. That's like, it's, You wanna it's, know what? Yeah. yeah. You're right. Yeah. It is. It is. <sighs> hey, what's your name? My name? Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious. Maybe it's not obvious. Uh, uh, hello, my name is Brian Brushwood. Hi, I, I'm Justin Robert Young. Okay, we're joined by the inimitable uh, Nathan Zimmerman. How are you, Nate? Hey, doing good. How are y'all? Good. Uh, I, we we used to have a show where we brought the best of the worst of the internet. We had another show that was like an improv comedy show. We had a show that pretended to reflect on internet culture. We had a show that was just bad, but now, <laughs> but now we'll leave welcome. it to you gumshoes to figure out which one. <laughs> Uh, uh, this show, we do have uh, 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 some news. We have some news for the betters. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Because uh, uh, there are new betting odds that have just now been released. Ooh, hold on. Let me see if I can find these in my inbox. Uh, uh, friends, of course, the number one gambling aficionado uh, a longtime diamond club member uh, Mitsula the Mike Rula the old school uh, has now broken out his official betting odds for my child uh, Let's go. <laughs> which which by the way there's nothing better in life than to have a bunch of friendly people who all know each other from other things and then somebody holds up a piece of paper that looks like this and says so what's this about uh uh nate uh, uh, do you know how to explain what you're looking at right now uh, I can take a guess, but uh, right off the bat, no, I am looking at a gambling sheet to determine your betting odds for what you want to bet on. Do you want to bet on the name? Do you want to bet on the time? Do you want to bet on the day? The wait. This is what we're looking at. Okay. All right. So I, I will put this on my Twitter account. Uh, so if you want to actually comb through the odds yourself, you absolutely can. But let's just go through some of the top line props here, Brian. Yeah, and uh, uh, keep in mind that these are uh, what do they call them? Over unders, right? Yeah. Um, th uh, this is overall. Well, they, they, these are these are all propositions in general, but some of them are over unders. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 bet number. I believe there are seven of them. Bet number one. The, these two gonna have a baby. Yep. The house is split. The casino. Has no idea. The official <laughs> wait, wait. Why, are, why you are you giving a like preamble for the odds? Just say the odds. The over under on my child being born is August thirty first. If you are under that, you get even odds at a uh, 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 one hundred and ten. Or if you want to go over, you also get even odds there. Uh, yes. I gave, uh, what about the day? Oh, on or before? Okay, so that's disambiguated. Okay, uh, uh, bet number two: the length of active labor. So six and a half is the over under for that. So if you believe that Ashley will be under six and a half active labor, and active labor is being defined as being checked into the hospital. Now, by the way, a guest on this show. Anthony Caruso literally spent two and a half days in a hospital with his wife. They now have a beautiful baby girl, uh, 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 Annabella Marie Caruso. Welcome to the world. Uh, but if we are only judging by that, way over six and a half. 
way over six and a half. So, so, so explain real quick what the minus odds numbers mean. Like, 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 what is the winking that the uh, that the hotel casino is doing? Uh, show me the. Uh, okay, uh, so thing for, again. for for example, the second bet here under six and a half hours pays out at negative 105 over six and a half hours or longer. So that means that means that over. That, yeah, that means uh, that, 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 that minus 115 means that the casino thinks that is more likely. Correct. Now, so, not a lot more likely, but certainly more likely. So if you were to place what type of bet, what kind of returns would you get? Uh, so all of that is basically if you bet 100 that is minus that. So you'd have to pay $5 or $15 over your 100 to just make the bet on the 100. Okay. And so it would be like that for each 100 going forward. You, you're, you're giving a little juice. Okay. All right. Just like, a little juice. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you like it. You like it. You like it. The juice, you like the juice, juice. is good. <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact, actually, somebody. Uh, 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 Call real Chris Minton. Let's see if he can explain it better. There you go. Wait, we 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 want to just do a betting odds thing? Well, I I I, I want to understand why why is it ne- they're both negative? Like yeah, I, no no no, because because you're not getting plus odds on it. Hello, sir. Hey, man. Uh, explain to us this betting odds sheet, <laughs> like uh, the plus odds versus the negative odds and all of that stuff. All right. Whenever you look at a line, there's two options. When you see the minus, that's how much you have to bet to win $100 back. When you see the plus, that's what you get back on a $100 wager. So like minus 120 means you have to lay 120 to win 100, whereas plus 100 means you get 100 if you bet 100. Okay, but but why would somebody make any of the negative 100 bets is it's like they're, it's they're, such a they're sure way thing. more likely what no no it's it's the the, the minus bet the, the bigger the minus the more favorited it is to happen the more likely it will happen so it's built into the price the, okay everybody plays the minus because if i have is minus 110 minus 110 because if it was even money even money we wouldn't make any money so i just have to build house house edge into every pool i built Okay, okay. So th- this first bet of negative one ten versus negative one ten is silly. Nobody should gamble on that because both sides are going to lose money. You're going to make well, money. No, 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 no. You bet one hundred and ten. You win one hundred plus your one ten. If you bet one hundred and ten on the over, you would get one hundred and ten plus your hundred, so you'd get two ten back. Ooh. Okay, I see. I see. Yeah, it's, so it's that- the same as like it's the same as the spread. And what it is is it's minus one ten on each side. Because if you bet if you bet hundred on the over and Justin bets hundred on the other and we don't charge juice, you right. guys break even and we don't make any money. But if you put hundred to win ninety and Justin puts hundred to win ninety and Justin loses, you win one ninety. We get Justin's hundred. We make ten dollars profit. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So let's go to bet number three: the time of birth, a.m. or p.m. Uh, it looks like p.m. has plus one hundred five, which makes me believe that the casino thinks that. It's very unlikely that the baby is going to be born during the day. It'll mostly be at some time no, no, overnight. No, PM's plus. That uh, that means it's less likely to happen. The yeah. Minus is no, no, no. no. You are you happen. are getting you are getting money if you bet that. Oh, so you, I, I, I guess I think yeah. of AM as nighttime instead. Oh, I I understand now. Okay. Uh, uh, Anti meridian, not post meridian, sir. And, oh, okay, <laughs> mother. All right. So, uh, 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 the the wait at birth. Would the hotel slash casino like to give us some insight as to how or why the odds are uh, uh, negative one fifteen versus one hundred five? Wait, why are you getting obsessed with the odds? This is like the least accessible way to get into this. Let, let's just talk about the, like which you would pick. Yeah. How much do you think the baby would weigh? Is just let's just go with that one. That's what it is. Oh, it's going to be a big baby. You think a big baby. old baby? Big old chonker, chonker. Legit chode? Oh no, legit chode, baby. A healthy chode. Big, big old chode. Good gigando. Now, uh, uh, then we get to the other types of bets. Uh, first letter of first name. Now, this is one that I'm assuming, unless there's collusion or whatever, Justin hasn't told you anything. About the I have, name. I have as much knowledge about the name. I probably have less of the knowledge of the name than you do because I've never had the conversation with them. 
I am handicapping based off just a general name, not on anything that I have no insider information on that. So no, no, M- M- Mitzi, Mitzi, make, uh, uh, tell us what went into setting these odds. So a lot of the odds are just, you know, average firstborn child to a first-time mother, length of labor, average baby size, things like that. The, uh, the names was a little bit more in, uh, a little bit more big because I had actual workable data. So I pulled about the last five years, give or take, of uh, naming trends, top 100 names, cross reference them all, and then just threw them into an applied probability chart and said, okay, you know, 0.2% of the babies in the last decade that have been born to, you know, first time parents have been named this. So let's see how many. But wait a minute. But, 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 uh, I think you, you also told me that you waited for our names because usually. I, I added, I added weight in because there is a, there is a common occurrence where they will use a shared initial of one of the parents with one of the firstborn children. I'm, I'm cutting the cameras away from Justin as I saw that he intentionally has put on a poker face. All right, let's talk about the first word spoken. Well, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Word... Before, before, before we get off baby name, Brian, can you read the the most likely, the highest value? It, it looks like I, uh, that would be the poorest payout, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So 500 to 1... Well, no, no, no. Five hundred one is the best payout. No, yeah, that's the that's the least likely name. Yeah, the most likely is going to be the shortest odds. The so, shortest like odds. The... Okay, so 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 that would be closer to uh, what we got. A. It's A. It's A. Spoiler it's... alert! It's A. Okay. All right. Because that is not only a very very popular letter, but also the beginning of my wife's name. So, and it's a girl. So yeah, you would so assume. That A, a is, is the a is prohibitive favorite. Yeah, A is the mathematical favorite for multiple reasons, but mainly the shared initial with the parent, and A has been very common amongst girls in the last few years. I really should have taken the Z. I mean, it's like, well, okay. Z I mean, is, I mean, look. Uh, 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 that's uh, that's 2,000 to 1 odds. Let me let me tell you right now, I don't want to juke the stats here. We've talked about a Z name. Z is a wonderful. We have we have talked about a Z name, uh, 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 Mitzi. If you were betting this chart, where would your money go? Um, I would be shooting some of the longer shots based on comments I've heard on the naming. I would be looking in the, like the, maybe the fifty-ish range, trying to take some fun shots in that area. So, and, so uh, like, like like an F or a, a Q or a T. I wouldn't or... say super long, but like. Something like maybe I don't have the numbers in front of me, but maybe like a a K or a G or something like that that might have a little bit longer shots. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, this one I love. Uh, first word spoken because we have a rich data set. Uh, because theoretically, you 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 can't really program a kid to say a word until they understand words and they kind of blurt the first one out. Yeah. And there, there's a reason that worldwide, everybody says mama or mom or mama in et cetera. And that because that tends to be the first thing that they say. Then after that, it's dad, 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 dad or daddy or what have you. Uh, then we got a bunch of uh, curious characters here. I, I will disclose. This is one I, I should have taken a wild card on because because Penelope, uh, her first word, she's now 20 years old, but Penelope's first word was our Dalmatian. She said, Duchess, which is, you would never bet a two syllable word from from a, a, a one year old. Um, uh, how, how did you put together the weighting on this one? Uh, that one was weighted with most common first word amongst newborns within the last two two years. I think I used to use two years data for that. And then I also weighted in some factors for the birds and just the words I think she'll hear the most often. Because those seem to be the ones, usually it's something that's said a lot around the, the uh, baby is usually the first, one of the first words. So it's, you know, mama, mama, dada, dada, or hey, you know, pet, pet names. Like you said, the Dalmatian, sometimes that pet, the pet name, it can hit in there pretty well too. Usually either parent, pet, or just a different animal. So, and yes and no. Uh, uh, for the audio listeners, it is worth noting that there is a 100,000 to one payout <laughs> if 
The very <laughs> first word from Justin's daughter is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. That is the Mary Poppins clause. It's a long-standing rule amongst thought makers. How, how did you come up with the 10 to 1 odds on any other word? Because it feels like that would be the safest bet. The field. I mean, that's, the, that's usually the safest bet for the field, but that's mainly because the top 25 or 30 most common, or top 15, 20 baby words, most common baby words are on that list. So it's going to be very rare that something that's on that list is going to be the first word. I don't think... She's going to be pulling something out of left field. I think it will be something on that list. But there's still a good chance. So you get every other English word except for the words on the paper. Okay. Uh, now, now, by the way, this is the final prop. And it was the only time that I knew that Mitzi was working on this. Because he texted me and he said, hey, not to be awkward. But what's, not your, wife's, to be awkward. what's your wife's natural hair color? <laughs> To which I told him, and then he produced this uh, sheet, because what is the final prop, Brian? Uh, hair color at birth, uh, which, which, which number one, I, I would love to place a bet on how Justin responded to that question. That would be the best. I, I mean, no, with, with, with the appropriate answer. Uh, with, with, I, 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 led, I led with correct information. The options are black, brown, no hair, red, blonde, or any other color. I ended up placing a $3 bet on any other color. What color are you leaning towards? Any other color besides black, brown, no hair, red, or blonde. Yes, and how many babies are you seeing with hair of any color other than those? <laughs> I'm going White to revise my bet. <laughs> <laughs> what other what other option are you banking on? Uh, I mean, there, like, I guess there could white, clear, or white, white uh, or clear. Uh, uh, like, uh, like, 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 there are kids that that have essentially like a, I don't know, like looks like fishing wire when they when they come out or. Uh, or or, or uh, what? Black brown. I mean, it's, it's still going to be an ounce. Blank hair, blank eyes. You know, x x pounds and ounces. Oh, and length. that's another factor because you have you know that they have to write certain things down on the birth certificate, yeah. right? Yeah, there's that. Yeah, that's there are there are official results that we will use for section settlement purposes. Okay, so so I know there's usually a vig for the. Uh, 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 the casino uh, uh are are these balanced or or where can i give there is, actual there, money there is there is a vic built into the markets because that's the only way i really know how to build the markets right okay because <laughs> it doesn't make like i mean on paper i could make a market that had 100 percent payback but it feels very weird to do that okay so i just follow standard operating procedures for how i do i do i can't guarantee that the proper hold is factored into all those markets but for the most part they're all at about a 20 percent theoretical hold Okay, so uh, uh, at the baby shower, which we're about to talk about, all I did was I wrote my name, I wrote $21, and I just wrote $3 next to each of the bets, and I circled them. If, if people want to do the same thing, uh, uh, I, I guess uh, where should they send They can go fuck themselves I, because uh, I, am, I am not... I'm not actually being a bookie for this. This is for <laughs> entertainment purposes only. If you know me personally, then send me what Brian did because you know me personally. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm not going to guarantee any of these bets. I really do want and actual as, as action. As it says on the bottom, the, the, the odds were provided by me. The uh, bookmaking is not. Yeah. I uh, cannot legally take any action on this without violating multiple state laws and losing my job. Okay, as, well, as let's you, just let's not me lose my job. let's just all agree that this is a fun game. Now, if, if what you can do, if you want to have a fun side project and give whoever has the most correct picks a shirt or some kind of prize or something, we could do that. They could just yeah, their you know on, that kind of bullshit. So that their picks on Discord, and whoever gets the most right gets you know. Gets a shirt or something like that. Yeah, no, 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 no. Get get your picks. Let's set up a Discord channel. Everybody can throw it in there. Throw it out on Twitter. It'll be a fun time. If you if you at the end of it, I will announce all of these things. Uh, 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 we will uh, if you are correct, 
then you will be lauded forever. Uh, just uh, uh, download this when I put it up on Twitter, and then uh, uh, have a good time. All right. Thanks and, so much. And uh, as much as I tried to get Justin to give me hints to the first name, he wouldn't even let me shade accordingly. So no. he's holding out on me as well. So. All right. Fair enough. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mitsula, the Mike Rula, the Woo! old school. Uh, we'll, see, we'll see you out in Vegas for reasons that we're about to discuss. Bye. All right, he's gone finally. Jesus. So, what do you like, Brian? You want you want to go down your uh, your, your 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 picks here? Uh, okay, I believe, if I remember correctly, uh, I I put after nine one. I know your due date is Labor Day. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I I think this baby's gonna. You think blue skies? I, I I think not not eleven days. Not fully not fully blue skies, but not, we're getting bluer. Not, not we're ten getting bluer on the days skies. later. Just yeah. a, a a wee bit later. Uh, you don't I, think that we'd never forget her birthday? I, I uh, first of all, I know you'll forget her birthday <laughs> because you're gonna have not if seven. It's, not if it's not if it's eleven days after the due date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what? You'll forget because I'll be making too many jokes that day, and you'll feel like jokes. oh, that's right, jokes, Brian. It was a very serious moment. It was. It was a very serious moment. Stop making jokes. It was. Uh, and also, uh, it might be my daughter's birthday. You never know. Oh, oh, wouldn't that? Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> on the odds of over or under six and a half hours. All right, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No, hold on. I'm calling Mitzi. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Call <Chris Mitzi. laughs> oh, oh, stop. Call Mitsula. Hold on. I gotta get, I gotta get, I gotta get bespoke odds. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, I need bespoke odds real quick. <laughs> I need, okay. I need, I need prop odds on my daughter is born on September 11th, 2024. I'm asking uh, for a friend. Side bet. This is the you're, unofficial side bet. You're saying the prop that she gets carried... Ten, uh, ten full uh, days past days, term. Forty days past yes. due. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Ten I'll, days past. Ten, due. ten, ten days, days past, past due. due. Oh, I was thinking it's August. Oh, ten days. Uh, what, what do I have for my end date on that? Let me right, right now. The uh, over under is the thirty first. So this is uh, or I, nine I, I, one I, I, or I later. One, an early working model. I had a breakdown of dates. Uh, I would say ten days is probably about. Seven and a half, eight to one, and I think usually uh, anything over fourteen eight is like not nah, high enough. Plus. Wouldn't eight to take one. it. Eight to one, Brian. Wouldn't take it. Eight to one. You're not. You're not laying a little action. Uh, look. Not laying a little action. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna place my bet. The closer the weather reports come out, I'm gonna see exactly how blue <laughs> how that blue sky the is. All right, thank you, and Chris. then I'm gonna figure it out. All right. Hey, uh, and the stars, the star chart, real quick. All right. All right. See ya. <laughs> Uh, eight to one though, tasty. Under, I, uh, I, I'm making a bet. Mm -hmm. I'm making a bet, uh, and I have. Inside... I thought it was going to be building seven to one. <laughs> I got the opportunity at the baby shower <laughs> to see just how healthy and athletic Ashley was looking. And I'm here to I, I took the under uh, under six and a half hours. She's going to she's going to like bend over like, well, I was in the middle of doing five bench presses. And then then and, <clears throat> and I felt a tweak just like, 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 like a like a squid uh, just shooting them out. And then she's going to say, I think we might need to be about to go to the hospital. But hold on. Let me clean up 75 other things. Let me say goodbye to these birds. I'm going to salute Lord Frontbutt, a mm -hmm. real chode. Uh, and then uh, <laughs> We're oh, going inside. I guess I guess it's time to go. She's going to show up and they're going to be like, well, we have a room for you. And she says, uh, I think I need to be in that room in five minutes, and then it's going to be over before you know it. So here's the only reason why I would advise anybody to take the over. And this is literally just because my best friend from high school, 
Anthony just went through this exact process within the last, you know, several days. For women of a certain age, of which my wife is, they call these women in early. So the idea that she would be the classic, like, like, oh, I'm just here getting uh, shopping for mufflers. Whoops, my water broke. Like, that is less likely because the doctors are way it's on the most them. classic scenario. We, we we all know those classic scenarios where you're just like like oh like I am just uh, inspecting the submersible and oh my water broke. What, what exactly does minor key mean? <laughs> yeah, right. You know, whoops. You're just, you're just in that regular super normal scenario where you're like uh, uh oh. I am just uh, expecting arbitrage on okay, the stock right, market. Okay, My right. water broke. The, I, I, if I may counter, as, yeah. as 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 somebody who has been through this a few times, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Bonnie's pretty tough. Ashley's pretty tough. Uh, Bonnie was like, hmm, I think it might be time to go to the hospital. But that was, wait, on the first or, or the on last? On the first. Yeah. And she was like, Oh, give me just a moment. Does her hair, puts on nice clothes. We have a montage of her getting ready to go to the hospital. We go to the hospital. Doctor comes in. Nurse says, oh, this baby's not coming till tomorrow. Four hours later, there's a team of interns yeah. looking at her cooter. Yeah. That's what I think is going to happen. That that ash will just fire it out. Yo, yeah, oh, yeah, oh yeah. No, when you're you know, ready, it, 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 that 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 should just be like when you get the bowling ball back. Yeah, like just bop. No, she's coming out. She's too fit. Yeah, she's too fit and too proud. Uh, and I mean this in a good way. Yeah, too fit and too proud to just feel a twinge and then run to the hospital. But that's the thing is that sometimes like. You know, again, this is this is uh, 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 Tony's wife. They like it was. It wasn't because she was feeling it. It was because of other reasons. It was like, oh, the blood pressure or the blah blah blah. And they're like, oh, you got to come in. And then once you're in, because of the way that that bed is scheduled, it's when you check into the hospital. Like, you're gonna both do six hours on the first checkup. I, I was going to say, Brian, like in my family's experience, I will almost assuredly say I would absolutely go for the over in this case without hesitation. Well, sounds like uh, uh, both of you have low expectations of your women. We got a market. We got a market, baby. All right. Uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm going to take the Brian, under. Brian, give me, give me your, give me your, uh, give me your name bet. Give me your first letter O to name bet. I think Come I Come on now. I think I selected J. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit because of Julia! Julia! Uh, Are you aware that it starts of how with a G? It's spelled. Yeah. yeah. No. It's spelled with a G, which is uh -huh. why I think you're gonna fake us out. And go Justin Julia, yeah, with 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 a J, yeah, Julia Young. It's a good name. It's a good name. Julia, Julia. Uh, I gotta say, good name. Good name. Nate, any Yo. thoughts? Uh, I'm leaning either. And for no particular reason, P, S, or F, I'm kind of leaning more towards, I, I want to gamble. What's a F. P name? Patricia? Hattie? Pat, well, that's, yeah, Patricia, right? Yeah. What other P names? Patricia, Penelope. Oh, yeah, there's Brian. D, D, F, O! Yeah. There we go. Uh, but no, I'm leaning more towards F, mostly for high odds, but I think y'all could get creative. What would be an F? I don't even know what an F name would be. Francisca. Francisca. Yeah, that's a good point. That's why I'm betting F. Yeah. Mm. These are all very interesting choices. 
Very curious choices. I will say that there has been no final name selected. The, the, there's 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 a few heavies in in the clubhouse. See, this is this is why you place your bet at the very last second because otherwise mm -hmm. he can shake the whole house down. Yep. If he realizes we're about to get screwed. I know that somebody's going to pick P and realize I'm going to name my daughter Piss Frog. <laughs> Piss Frog. Number one. Number one. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Uh, what what are the names of your birds? Just just for data collection purposes. Doctor Cooper and Milo. Okay, those are D. great names. Yeah. C. Yeah. Doctor Doctor's the baby. Uh, then uh, there's uh, Professor Cooper, and then there's Mister Milo, aka the Fat Doctor, because he looks like Doctor, but he's a real fat ass. He's a real <laughs> big. He's a real big thick boy. We love him. He's a certified chode. Okay, uh, uh, now th this part where you know entering fantasy land and your guess is as good as ours. Uh, what do you personally think if you were going to place a bet on the first word spoken? What would it be? So I will say, amongst Ashley and I, there is an assumption from her uh, based on uh, uh, the TikTok videos that she is obsessed with that the first word is almost assuredly data. And no, is, no, 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 no. That is what she, I'm telling you what she's saying. Okay, well, she's wrong. Okay. The, the, she, trust me, there are plenty of women on TikTok that want to explain to you that it's because of the mouth and the way that the mouth forms that, like, dada is easier to say than mama. And so uh, the joke that we have had is because she is freaked out about that, I keep... Whenever I talk to my uh, 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 daughter in the belly, I just say, hello, it's <laughs> my me. My daughter in the belly. Yeah. Of all my daughters, I like my daughter in the belly the most. Do we want to delay this moment anymore? Or? No, go on. All right. I just say, uh, uh, hi, I'm father. Would have made more sense in rhythm, but that's fine. My bet's food. An Honestly, some sort of food item, I think, is a solid bet. Also, I like the odds there. Okay. There's a bunch of, like, crazy odds ones for the first word. Their own name. Hi, yes, no, bye. That makes sense. But then it's, like, any type of food or drink. <laughs> like... You know, Hydrox, uh, any animal other than bird, which, which again, that would have been a 50. Dog, horse, yeah. Uh, you know. A 51 payoff for Penny, because she said Duchess. Any variant of aunt, uncle? Ooh. Yep. There's going to be somebody around there. Yeah, you could be you could be trying to uh, goose the odds yourself. Wait, wait. Yeah, you, you could be making money on this. 100 to 1? Dude, put a C note on that and then say your name every time she, uh, uh, she's around. We, Brian, we, Brian, 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 Brian. Uh, try to make money on this shit. We, we, I've never had a relative or caretaker who had a familial name that was not actually blood uh, connected to me. And... We've talked a lot about how Bonnie and I are super stoked because uh, uh, neither Bonnie nor I have any chance to be aunts or uncles to anyone. So we've joked about auntie vibes or uncle vibes or whatever, but, but, I, but, but uh, we've never had the discussion, certainly not in public on the show right now, uh, about like what are appropriate uh sobriquets for what the function that bonnie and i are going to perform for the child yeah i mean you guys are an uncle absolutely mm. there ain't no doubt about that nah man like uh uh uh, uh there is there is no question in our mind that that you guys are an uncle to this child and she will understand you as an uncle uh, and and also that your uh, uh daughters as as cousins you know i mean i think there ain't there ain't there ain't any question about that. 
Hey, fuck you. We're not supposed to cry on this show. Oh, no. <laughs> well, while Brian cries, we'll remind you that the tears that he uh, fells from his eyes are like money onto our Patreon. Patreon.com slash great night. Patreon.com slash great night is where... You need to go. We bury our real emotion with comedy and cash. <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night. You get a bonus episode each and every week. And uh, two weeks ago, that was Brian covering for me while I was at the RNC. Uh, he will uh, again cover for me when I'm at the DNC. But in the meantime, friends, I'll be covering for him. Because he is going to be out of town uh, next week, for which I will make sure that you always get a bonus episode. Yeah, friends. It's all happening at the zoo. Head on over there. Take... Uh, <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night. <laughs> Sorry. Been slutting around too many whorehouses. Use the Ron John's name. <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nate, I'm told you have a game for us this evening. <laughs> Hello, you beautiful diamonds. Indeed, we do have a game. Tonight's game is Have You Seen the Polls? Uh, I have asked Diamond Club itself six very weird questions. Brian and Justin, I would like you to try and guess the ratio for people's choices. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, so, so uh, uh, from whence do these polls come? These polls come from our Discord server, which you can reach at discord.greatnight.tv. Okay. Uh, uh, so, so these are our own people that we're talking these about. These are our own people. Okay. All right. All right. All right. The rules are quite simple. Try and guess the ratio people voted for. You have a 10% margin of error you can be within. If you're within that, you get a point. Simple as that. Ready. Okay. All right. For the first question, who would win in a bar fight? Oh. Oscar the Grouch or Mo Sislak from The Simpsons? Oh, uh, I, I, are, are, are we against each other or on the same team? Uh, y'all can pick a side up to y'all. Okay. So, uh, 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 Justin, my, yeah. my thinking is, before we announce our official answers... Uh, is is that Mo Sislak is a uh, god of his domain, and I feel like Mo would win at anything. However, I feel like, and maybe we've talked about this ten years ago, I'm almost certain that Oscar the Grouch was created as an analog for a Vietnam veteran, uh, which is why he lives in a garbage can and is very bitter about everything. And I feel like that dude is killed someone whereas Moe's only talked about killing someone where so, do you think he hides the bodies uh, uh in the fucking garbage can yeah man. come on man <laughs> no that's the point yeah uh i i i am tempted to say that in a fight the winner would be uh, uh, uh oscar the grouch feel like he's got a lot of knives and a lot of dirty needles and well, okay okay hold on hold on hold on so you're trying to guess the percentage of people who thought like either who, right who, who so, so that, that, like that is that yeah. is only yeah. that is only our first question is who won then we have to determine the the percentage how, so, how, so how much of let's, our let's, crowd let's get on the same page yeah if we're imagining a bar fight only one of these two characters are in a bar. Is it specifically a bar fight? This is specifically a bar fight. Right? Mm. So somebody has to bring Oscar into the bar. At which point you got to imagine there's a conversation. Because this weird dude in a trash can. Like, like when does somebody in a trash can get brought into a bar and everyone's okay with it? Yeah, well, I right? mean, when does a Vietnam vet go into a bar and everyone's okay with You're it? You're in your own headcanon here, Doug. Uh, okay, and I don't know right. if everybody who's taking this poll is on the same page as you. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll tell you this much. There's no chance that Mo Sislak does not have a shotgun inches away from his fingers at all I time. think we're on the same page. I think that 63. Three percent thought that Mo would win. 
63 thought that Mo would win. Okay, Brian, what is your ratio guess? I'm not going to do the baby thing of like the 1% more. I think that it's a straight sweep, and I think 80% of the audience know for a fact Not that a straight sweep. If it's a bar fight, Mo Sislak is going to be in the bar, and he definitely has a shotgun within six inches of his fingers, and it's going to be Mo. I'm going to say 80% said Mo. 80% said Mo. Uh, gentlemen, unfortunately, you got close to the right numbers, but in fact, uh, 76% believe that Oscar the Grouch would win the bar fight, while 23 uh, go for uh, Mo. That makes that, 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 that's one point for Justin then. Yes, no. Sir. Well, no. I don't know. He's the game master. He, he decides. You said, uh, you said Mo. We, we both, I said Mo. Yeah. We so both, we both, we're both out. We're point. both out. Yep. Y'all are both out. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. All right. Even though you were closer. We were, I got we, yeah. It. We, were, okay. we were on the wrong side of the line. All right. Yeah. Wrong All side right. of the line. Right ratios. Okay. All right. You and, laid out that whole thing about being a Vietnam vet that didn't bet on him. Uh, well, once I realized it was a Why bar don't you support our troops? <laughs> once I realized it was a bar fight, I realized... Hear me! Thank you. Hear me! <laughs> I ain't no fortune to No! It would be a drug deal gone bad. It's <laughs> where he would win. Yes. All right, next question. Ah, I'm a grouch. Why did LBJ send me... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, LBJ, can you spell the letter K-I-L-L-M-E? I can. <laughs> well, I was in the shit. Where's Charlie? How many Oscar the Grouches does it take to change a light bulb? How many? You don't know you weren't there, man. <laughs> Lord. All right, gentlemen. Next question. What is sushi? We got we got the last helicopter out on that bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh the question is, what is sushi? Your options are it is a Wellington or it is a sandwich. <laughs> One is, more time on that, dog. <laughs> what is sushi? A Wellington or a sandwich? The fuck's a Wellington? Like a beef Wellington. I think we're on our own on this one. What is a like, Wellington? Like a beef Wellington. Hold it, on. Let it, me it, consult my physician. A Wellington. Yeah. Call is, your doctor. Oh. Oh, oh, no. Hold on. This is a medical issue. What, what is a Wellington? Doctor? Sure. What's going on? I'm asking what a Wellington is. A Wellington in the medical context typically refers to a type of brace or cast used to support and immobilize a limb, especially after a fracture or surgery. It's designed to provide... I'm thinking more in the food sense. <laughs> I'm thinking... Oh, shit. Why are you doing... I'm thinking more in the food sense. I got it. In the food context... A Wellington typically refers to beef Wellington. It's a dish where a filet steak is coated with pate and duck cells, a finely chopped mushroom mixture, then wrapped in puff pastry and baked. It's a classic and elegant dish. The fuck does that have to do with sushi? <laughs> Yo. What the fuck does that have to do with sushi? <laughs> I apologize for any confusion. There isn't a direct connection between a traditional beef Wellington and sushi. Are you thinking of a sandwich? So this dude who just told me that a sushi was Wellington is just an idiot or what? Anyway. All right. She <laughs> left. Yeah. No. She's yo, black now. Yo, I... I got a friend who has a really bad doctor, and I just now got an alert saying that I have a better doctor. Is that you? Um, it sounds like you're mixing me up with something else. Uh, I don't think doctor. so. 
but I'm here to help answer questions or offer advice where I can. All right, shut up. What's going on with your what? friend and their doctor? Uh, yeah, wait, my friend is Maybe confused. Uh, my friend is confused as to what a Wellington is. Will you explain it? Sure. A wellington typically refers to a dish called beef wellington. It's a gourmet meal where a filet of beef is coated with pate and duck cells, which is a finely chopped mixture of mushrooms, onions, and herbs. This is then all wrapped in puff pastry and baked. It's known for its rich flavors and elegant presentation. What sparked your friend's curiosity about wellingtons? Because he's fucked up in the head and doesn't know what a sandwich is or a wellington, and we're trying to figure out whether or not a fucking piece of sushi is a wellington or a sandwich. That sounds like a fun debate. Neither sushi nor beef wellington are considered sandwiches traditionally. Um, sushi is a Japanese dish featuring seasoned rice Shut with up. different fillings and toppings, often wrapped in sea. Right. Uh, I think it's a Wellington. And I think I think 80% of our audience said so too. Also, I definitely just got information that that there are new toys. You got the new thing? I found out that there is a new thing, and I found out that I'm in the new thing. Oh, nice. So, Brian, you believe that an 80% odd that our audience believes that sushi is a Wellington, correct? Yes. That's right. my number. What about you, Justin? I believe it's a sandwich. And I believe that 76% of our audience believes it's a sandwich. An open face sandwich with fish. A fishy open face sandwich. That's what sushi is. Justin, you were so wait when you when you say sushi, you, are you talking about like just like the 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 rice and then the fish, or are you talking about a roll? I intentionally left it vague for that very reason. Well, what the fuck? All right, whatever. Yeah, seventy six percent. Justin, unfortunately, you missed as seventy six percent of our audience believes that sushi is a Wellington. Brian, that gives you one point. I don't even know what the fuck that shit is. That's what started this whole mess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next question. Hold on. Yo, I just want to point at this game, and I want you to rub it in this person's face with the wackiest way you can. Make it clear that Brian Brushwood won a point, and the other person should be sad and alone. Go. It sounds like you're... Oh, it sounds like you're gearing up for some epic gloating. Oh, yes. Just imagine... This epic will be gloating. Start right now. I love that you even step on chat, GPT. <laughs> All right. Picture this. A parade of virtual confetti, a fleet of emoji balloons, and a brass band playing We Are the Champions as Brian Brushwood strides victoriously onto the winner's podium, pointing skyward in triumph. Meanwhile, the other person, let's call them the befuddled. No, no, no. Home. We're going to call him Justin. Ah, Justin, of course. <laughs> right. So as Brian Brushwood basks in the glow of his well-deserved victory, Justin sits there, bewildered as a cartoon storm cloud rains on him alone. It's a scene fit for an over-the-top sports anime, with Brian reveling in glory while Justin <laughs> contemplates his life choices. Talk about a dramatic finish. That's great. Bye. Oh my God. Damn, that's good. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Our audience was asked for one year, which would you rather deal with? A strict HOA or a jury duty? Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, I know my answer is uh, option C, suicide. Um, I guess a strict... HOA would prop. I bet a lot of. I bet 50, that's that's what more people have had to deal with. I would assume that that would be something that they, people would assume they they would an easier time conceptually dealing with because more people actually deal with a strict HOA. Yeah. So uh, the question's the number. I I guess I won the first point. So I'll I'll say thirty five percent agree with me. 35% agree that they deal with a strict uh, HOA? Yeah, before okay. jury duty for a year. Yeah, I'll say 35% jury duty. 
35% jury duty. Uh, unfortunately, y'all are not within the margins of error, as 82% of our audience would rather deal with jury duty for one year than a strict HOA. Mm, damn. Bong bong. Yo, I need a stand-up All right. comedy no, routine. No, no, no. Don't, don't go oh, back. No. Don't go oh, back. God damn it. Don't fuck it out immediately. All right. You just got the new thing. God don't damn. use the new thing seven times and make it not new. All right. Next question. Give me, no, Nate, get his phone. Get his no, phone. No. Get his phone. No, you can't find it. Get his phone it. and Nobody bring it to me. It get his phone and bring it to me. Uh, uh, bring it to him. Remind him that the action button is the one that's associated yes. with it. No, no, no. Thing. And I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to put mm. it back here so Brian can't. No. Oh, no Brian no. can't burn the bit. I, I'm going to keep it close just in case I'm there's an important I'm seeing a long-term bit here. <laughs> okay, when, right. I'm, I'm protecting the show for all the right. next three weeks so we don't do seven <laughs> things in a row where you're talking to ChatGPT. <laughs> all right, gentlemen. Our audience was asked, which trilogy would you rather see a remake of with an all-Muppet cast? Star Wars, the original trilogy, or Lord of the Rings? Hmm. So a giant douche or a turd sandwich? Wait, an all Muppet version? Yeah, you wouldn't want you wouldn't watch an all Muppet version of either of those. I would. Wait, we already have seen multiple all Muppet versions of Star Wars. Like what? Uh, uh, Muppet Babies, multiple episodes. Those were bits, yeah, but not like a real like remake of it. Like proper whole yeah. Muppet. And and but but meanwhile also like Lord of the Rings they those were actual Muppets <laughs> like ah uh, eh, I guess I'll go Star Wars I think it's Star Wars too and and but, I, but, I, I think I think it's significant I think that it is sixty eight percent I was gonna go tw seventy but I'll go sixty eight twenty seven twenty seven twenty seven percent. Star Wars and 68% Star Wars. Is that yep. correct? Uh, unfortunately, neither of you fall within the margin of error as the audience shows 52% with Lord of the Rings and 47% at Star Wars. Damn. This was a very Wait, hold on. One. Wait, wait. They did both? Uh, they chose between the two. So that's what you have been playing against. How? So wait, so hold on. So how, so, so how, the, how it wasn't on work? one side of the line or the other? Again? The game works by you guessing the ratio of a particular answer. So you guess that uh twenty percent of people would vote for a Star Wars remake and as an all Muppet, as well as a sixty percent at Star Wars at All Muppet. So we could be right even if we have the pick the loser. Y'all could be right if you get the ratios correct, yes. But y'all didn't get the ratios mm. correct. Oh. This is another example why we should do pre-show meetings. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. All right. This is our final question. Mm. So best of luck, gentlemen. Our audience was asked, do pickles belong on a burger? This point is, or this question is worth five points. On a burger? On a burger. Is this controversial? <laughs> Justin, I'd like to point your attention to Brian. 87% no, or the show ends right now. You don't believe that pickles belong on burgers? That is correct. I do not. If you have a disagreeing opinion, you may stake your claim now. Do you not like pickles? No, he does not. I, this is in all of our friendship. It just never come up. Name all of my children's allergies. No. Okay. <laughs> Name. Why? Why would I memorize all? I mean, I know that 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 uh, 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 dairy, peanuts, uh, 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 that kind of stuff, but. I... Pickles. 
All right. Uh, 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 yeah, I, I stand by my answer. Uh, uh, I believe. Wait, hold on. Is it because you think pickles are gross, or because your daughter, your one of your daughters, has a pickle allergy? Fucking sh- p- pickles ain't nothing but shriveled dicks. Who wants shriveled dicks on their burger? Me. Go on. Line them up. I. I'll scarf them down. I. Yeah. I'd Dude. gladly pay you Tuesday for some triple dicks today. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, may, maybe I there was a misunderstanding. I'm just saying, I love pickles. I love burgers. I love pickles on burgers. Okay, two great tastes that taste great together. Well, I, I a little crunchy snap on top of a, a, a meaty treat, of course. I I guess who wouldn't want it? I mean, I guess you. But I didn't know that this was such a thing. I, um, th- I'm sure someone's going to be able to pull an episode where we've had this exact same conversation before. But no, it that, shows no, no, that no, our brain. Right. I, 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 I do realize. I do realize that I've overplayed my hand because I went not only to no when you're yes, I went all the way to eighty percent no. So uh, I, you could say seventy nine percent no and would be closer. I don't think that this is a controversial thing. I mean, like, pickles are on the classic McDonald's burger. Remember, are, Brian, are, are you aware like, that, that that might be the most consumed entree in American history? All the pickles, all the lettuce, special orders don't upset us. That's their competition. They're talking about pickles because the pickles come standard on the burger. I mean, I'm guessing the ratio that the audience believes that pickles either do or do not want, uh, belong on a burger. I'm going to say yes. Yes. 54% yes. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So I just said 80%. So if 80% of them believe they do belong on a burger, I would win? You would win the point in this case. Okay. I stick. I stand. I'm a man of character. I stand where I stand. 80% 80, 80% belief. 80% belief. Justin, you are... Wait, wait, believe or... No, you said no. He did say no. I did say no. However, if 80% believe yes, I still win. Wait, no. Because you no. initially said 80% You said 80% is no. no. So if 20%... I just asked you the words. So if 80% of them said yes, I would win. Yes. And you he's, not fool- yes. he's not falling for your fucking Rumpel Stiltskin <laughs> shit, dog. <laughs> No, if you say, don't give them the tricky words. If you say eighty percent agree that pickles belong in a burger, that is your claim. However, your initial claim was eighty percent do not belong in a burger. That was initially and, and what you're you locked said. in. Congratulations, you're locked. Clank. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk so much to that robot the moment this show's <laughs> over. All right, Justin, what is your ratio? Fifty-four percent say yes. Fifty-four percent say yes. Now, remember, gentlemen, the winning strategy here is to be within ten percent of what was actually decided. And although Justin, you did win in saying that pickles do belong in a burger majority-wise, you did not win the ratio, thus bringing Brian by the de facto winner by a single point. What was it? What was it? It was eighty-eight to eleven odds. God damn it! So they fucking, they love them. They love these pickles. Only two people did not vote for pickles on a burger. Holy shit. And Brian was probably both of them. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. Me and my arch rival, uh, Guy Incognito. Brian, you are tonight's winner. And as always, there's a prize. I have something to give to you. Oh my God, this is a real prize. All right, what do we got? No way. We have the same briefcase. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead and open that briefcase, Brian. All right. Uh, it looks it's, like it's unlocked. You just gotta flick it down. Uh, I I gotta. I don't have to do nothing, sir. Uh, hold on. Uh, oh, 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 in the briefcase, uh, that looks like it's circa 1978. Is in this briefcase is an authentic relic coming from Blockbuster's very own. The 1953 VHS of War of the Worlds. Oh my god! 
This is amazing. Where, where are you getting this shit? I'm very good at finding things. Yeah, yeah, you are. Show it to the camera, Brian. Show it to the camera. So, sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, it's 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 that War of the Worlds. God damn, it's the, the first HS release War of the Worlds. Uh, in 1991. That's amazing. Uh, okay. Nathan, thank you. This is these are we are undeserving of the quality of these games. Uh, uh, if you want to help Nathan with the games, where can you go? Please head on over to discord.greatnight.tv. I'm in chat. Come say hello. There you go. Oh, hey, Brian, what did we learn tonight? Oh, my God. Number one, we learned uh, uh, that, uh, that, that, that Justin gets to take away Brian's phone. Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian, we also learned that uh, uh, my daughter's name will never start with a J because I'm not giving Brian that value. God damn it. See, this is the, I knew this part was coming. Oh, no. Oh, I thought there was a message. That's all right. All right. I, I get my message, my phone back. Uh, well, we, uh, we learned that uh, uh, Nathan continues to over deliver when it comes to value. For the games, because it turns out that when there are actual prizes, it's a bit more fun. Mm -hmm. And we learned that America loves a juicy pickle on a burger. Yeah. Nummy, nummy, num, num. Weird. We, we, we learned America's weird. We, uh, uh, I guess. Can, can we talk about Deadpool in the after show? It's been a great night. It's been oh, a great night. All right, all right. Love. See you next Tuesday. Shine on you crazy so diamonds. That I wanna drink a warm glass of Drano. Night attack, night attack, night attack, night attack, night attack, night. Attack. I love you. Diamond Club hopes you've enjoyed this presentation. <laughs>